Hello hey guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. In my last video tutorial, I talked about how to execute Excel macros from VB Editor in different ways. In today's video tutorial, I am going to show you how to run macros in Excel using shapes and keyboard shortcut key. So let's record a very simple macro. I will go to the developer tab and here I have the record macro button and what I want to do is I want to enter my name here in the cell A1 and then I want to enter the name of this course in the cell A2 just like I did in my previous video tutorial okay now this is just a demo macro workbook already open but for the purpose of the of the demo of this video let's do this again okay so here i will first go and click on the record macro as soon as i do this it has for macro name let's say the name will be len excel just like I name it in my previous video tutorial okay and then we will also give it a keyboard shortcut which is what control shift s okay please note which i always say that always remember that this keyboard shortcut override the z inbuilt keyboard shortcut so in this case here if i give it control x then instead of saving the work pool, it will start running the macro. So be a bit conscious when you are assigning a keyboard shortcut. Okay, I will solve this this macro in this workbook. Okay, I will solve it in this workbook, and then I can enter in the description. Okay, in the future, maybe let's say let me enter learn a zero. Okay okay and now when i click on ok button the macro start getting recorded now i will type my name here so type okay now in the say hey one which is what i will i will type the name of this course in the say a2 which is what vba course okay then and then i'll press enter okay from my keyboard here to come to say a3 and now i will go and stop recording the macro okay now here the next thing is that let me force insert a button okay let me force insert a button that we can use to run this particular macro so there are two ways you can insert a button the first is you can go to developer tab okay you can go to the developer tab and within the control section there is an insert okay here when you click on it you have this first button right up here if i hover around it it says button form control and as soon as i click on it okay as soon as i click on it you can see the plot sign i can click on the worksheet and as i soon as i click on on any cell on the worksheet the button get inserted so when i click did, when I click here, it's open assign macro dialog box because this is specifically a button that is used for running a macro. So you have to assign a macro name, then it will get inserted. Here, I have all the macro macros that I have, I have in this workbook. In this case, I only have one, which is what learn is there. I will select it and I will give it. I will click on what okay okay 
and as soon as I do this, it insert a button. You can likewise resize it. Okay, you can you can resize this button, and you and you can also treat this as an object. You can move it anywhere or place it anywhere you want, and you also can change the test okay let's say let me give it let me say let me name this the test as well run maples okay good so this is the button test and as soon as i click anywhere okay as soon as i click anywhere hmm, on this worksheet or press escape to get out of this out of this edit mode and then you can click on it to return the macro now let's delete the name in the cell a1 and cell a2 okay let me delete it now okay now firstly i will select cell a1 okay and set the one back and then let's see what happened when i click on it on this macro okay you can you can see that immediately I click on this macro, it insert the test here in the cell A1 and A2, and also cell A3 get selected. Okay, so let's see what happens if I click anywhere on the worksheet and run the, the macros again. Okay. You can see as soon as I run this macro, it enters Taiwo here and it also enters Taiwo and VPA calls up here in the cell A1 and A2. The idea is how to run this macro. So you can use buttons to run uh, to run the macro and you can also use shapes. Okay, now let's insert a shape. So we will go to the insert tab that is, that is the one after the home tab. And here there is an icon for shapes. Okay, at the far right, we will insert a shape. Let's say I want to use this rounded rectangle. Okay, I will give that a click. The benefit of introducing shapes to run macro is that you can format this shape, you can give it a nice color, and you can change the format and the font in which you cannot do in the case of of this form control button that i created earlier so let's insert a shape here i will go to anywhere on the work sheet okay then hold hold my mouse and drag it to to form a rounded rectangle shape okay then i will right click then select edit test and i will write run macro okay okay i will run macro i'll put it then i'll put the test in center okay i'll put the set in test in center here okay that is good at the home tab here and again you can see you can give give a shadow you can change the color and you can do a lot of things now to assign a macro to this particular shapes okay all you need to do is to is to select the macro button and then right click okay and then select the macro button here then right click okay and go to assign macro and as soon as you click on it it opens the assign macro dialog box which it opens here in this case again you simply click on what click on the lens which i the macro name that i created earlier then then i'll click on what okay and then now when you get out of the edit edit mode click anywhere anywhere here is in the worksheet or press escape then this macro can be run you can see that there is a high hand pointing upward this icon which means that this is somewhat of 
of a hyperlink HANA. If I click on it, then something will happen. Before that, let's delete this name in the cell A1 and A2 first, okay? Then, then let's put the cursor here in the in the cell A1. Let me put the cursor in the cell A1 and let, let's see what happens if I when I click on it, okay? Wow. As soon as I click on it, the macro get executed and here it say A3 A3 uh, say A3 is selected as the final step. So you can either use a button or you can use the shapes. I, in most cases, go for shapes because you can do a lot of customization. If you want, if you want, you can make it look like a button or you can make it look like many other things. It could be shapes, it could be random, random figure, and uh, random rectangle, or it could be anything. It could be any shape, and you can assign a macro. The third way of running a macro will be if you go to the the developer tab, okay. First, and uh, firstly, let's delete this. Uh, let's delete the name in the cell one and a two first, and I will select this uh, a one. Now, if I click on the the macros, okay. If I click on the macros here, it opens a dialog box where I have my macro name, Lenezé, okay? Lenezé here. I can simply run run the button to run macro directly from the macro window so if i select the line zero here then click on run button okay you can see again that the macro has been executed this is a very simple way to but not as user friendly compared to compared to when using the button okay However, if you are testing your macros or you or your code, then you can simply go through this way by clicking on macros, okay, which open the dialog box where you have the entire list of what macros, okay. Open for open that open, open open here, then select the one you want and then run it, okay. You can also use the keyboard shortcut shortcut. It is not necessary that you always assign a keyboard shortcut but if you if you if you then you can use the that keyboard shortcut token as well so here in this case if, if you remember in the beginning of this video we assign the name or short or shortcut which will control shift s and now if i press control shift s okay sorry if i press control shift s okay it will definitely run the macros okay that is it so there are so many ways you can use to run the macro as we saw this there is a button there's a shape and then you can also use a macro dialog box then you can also go to the vb editor and use the two bar run sub or use a form button or you can press the keyboard shortcut which is f5 or you can use the keyboard shortcut that you assign to this macro why you are recording it or why you are writing the code so this is how you can execute a macro in LZ. i hope you find this video useful thank you and have a blessed day bye